Heidi Ho, my YouTube peeps. I um, I think I need to do a Dollar Tree uh, haul for you today. Um, when I was out with Tom yesterday, we stopped by Dollar Tree and I got some stuff. But first I want to show you this rose. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, now that is a big rose. It's all limp because Grant picked it last thing before we headed off today in the car. But this thing, I mean, it weighs a half a pound. It's huge. It looks like a peony, but it's a rose. Mm, and this is going in the potpourri. Okay, so that's the rose. Oh, I also stopped by the hardware store and got myself some semi-gloss interior paint for my back bathroom. This goes in the back bathroom, and I think I'm going to do the kitchen with this. And it's very hard to tell. It's white. You can't really see it. But it's a off-white that has like a pinkish cast to it. It's really neat. But I love the name of this um, paint. It's called Antique Night Dress. Don't you love that? Antique Night Dress. What a weird name for paint. But I love it. I've used it a lot. It's actually in the Paris apartment guest bedroom. I did that room in that color and I really like it. I also think I'm going to crackle paint some of my furniture in that color as well. So, anyhow. So I just went into, I actually went to Dollar Tree hoping to find stickers. Well, the sticker supply was almost non-existent. They had like three different kinds of stickers. So that didn't do me much good. But of course, while I was there, I managed to find, you know, $20 worth of other stuff. So let me show you what I found. Things I didn't need to buy, of course. But things that when you find them, they make you happy. Okay, so first of all, I found this book. I bought this book for the cover, like I buy so many books. It's called A Nearly Perfect Copy. Isn't that a great cover? I don't know if you guys saw this when you were there last. I just love it. It reminds me of those old English paintings from the 19th century where people would paint pictures of their aristocratic pets. Okay, so I got that. And then I got two vases like I need more vases right well the reason I bought these there's one simple reason and that's because they're pink I'm amassing this collection of pink glass stuff that's populating my built-in china closet so I got I got this one and I got another a tote one like that this is a, that was a more of a purplish pink. This is more of a reddish pink. But I really enjoy getting, enjoying getting pink glass things for my little area. I also got a bunch of purple drink cups only because I'm, I need to try, I haven't yet rooted or attempted to root the plants from my mom's house in um, root, rooting a hormone yet. I mean, I've got them in the potatoes. I don't know if any of those are going to make it. Um, I still have a lot of slips cut that have been down in water that are looking okay. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a try. And I needed containers. And then I got, okay. I'm not a huge washi tape fan because I don't do a lot of scrapbooking really. But I've discovered that I really like it for decorating the outside of packages and envelopes which I've been, I've got like a grip of packages that have to go out. I like this stuff with the keys. You guys have probably seen that one. And then, of course, a lot of you guys have hauled this pink uh, cheetah print, I guess it is. So that's going to go on packages. My grandmother was a big one for decorating packages. She was very good at it. Also, for the, this is wet and wild, I'm going to take it out of its container. For the um, soda bottle beads, I was running low in the sparkly. So I found this kind of pinkish, pinkish, reddish sort of color um, for the soda bottle beads of glitter nail polish. So, I mean, the idea is you're supposed to use up stuff you have. You're not supposed to buy new stuff. But I had to, all right. I've got a veritable jungle growing underneath my arms. Absolutely must hit them with the razor. It's, it's getting scary. Yeah, I could, it's like a rainforest in there. Um, 
I got some more of these little guys because the little hair, hair uh, bungees, Tracy, <laughs> um, for uh, crocheting the silk um, yarn around because they make really nice scrunchies. So I'm going to do some of those. Paintbrush. And I think another paintbrush because I'm going to, I have a feeling I'm going to be doing lots and lots of painting for the next couple of weeks. So I got that. And then uh, Tom's the one who told me I should, should look for these because he saw these a while back and he loved them. And they're these um, gardening gloves. These are just regular gardening gloves. And these are just regular cotton gardening gloves. I just liked the colors. I thought they were festive. But these are the gloves he said that are really cool. They're these stretchy uh, gloves with like a plastic or a nitrile on the inside and you know Tom's practically a girl so he knows all about this stuff and he said they're good and I believe him. All right I did find some stickers right they're cool stickers they only had one um, con um, envelope of them where I would have bought more but I thought these were neat with the peace signs and the hearts and the rainbows and the love and all that sort of junk. The you know sort of in honor of Earth Day recently passed. So those will look fun on the outsides of packages. And then, because it is almost mosaic season, I bought three bags of flat back marbles. I really like these colors. This is kind of a deep ocean blue. This is a little bit of a lighter grayish blue. And then this is a multi white and green and blue. Yeah, it's amazing how many of these things you can go through when you're doing a mosaic. I mean, you, it really uses these up. So, that's it. That's what I bought. The only other thing I bought was some fly roll-on for my burrow to put. He has some places, hot spots on his legs where the flies like to go. And then under his eyes, I like to keep it under there. Um, so yeah, so today's been really, really productive. Um, I don't know if I've, I may or may not have uploaded this video yet that shows that we've moved the Airstream. So that was kind of cool. It's down here in my pasture now. And, um, I went into town. I was craving cheap Chinese buffet food from this one specific crusty buffet on the bad side of town. So I hadn't been there. I haven't been there probably four years, three or four years, maybe longer. And so on a whim, we drove, you know, 30 miles. And sure enough, there it was, just as dirty and crusty and, and semi-sketchy, skanky as it's always been. Just a sea of deep fried chicken with lots of different sauces on it. And, you know, pizza, strangely enough, garlic bread, sushi, you know, Kung Pao this and Mushu that, and it was all like old and had been out under the hot lights for most of the day. But you know what? Every once in a while, every once in a while, I really want food like that. Just dig in because you're so hungry and you got to go home and work some more food. So that's what we went and had. And I was telling Grant, well, it's probably going to be another two years before I crave that stuff again. So I, I feel pretty well you know, pretty well satisfied on the cheap Chinese buffet food. Um, so the rest of my day is going to be spent on the back porch painting. Um, I've decided to do my ceiling that light blue, that paint blue color that I think I may have talked about. That's so popular in the south, that, like really, really light sky blue. Um, I think that's a that's just a super cool idea. So I'm going to go ahead and um, and follow suit. I'm going to reach down in and grab my southern roots by the neck and shake them just a little bit. Put that blue up there. Um, so I do believe that's about it. I hope y'all are having a really really good day. Um, and as my friend Coleman would say, if you're not happy, try harder. Bye.